seen like hey, what's going on, man? Not too much. Blindsided me. Yeah, he liked to blindside you. It's it's just it's hilarious. Yeah. Um, I'm doing great, man. I'm pretty excited about today's video. Why? Because we have a guest. We do? Yes. Oh, you're right, right there. There he is. <laughs> uh, we have Anthony at uh, at Beer Snobs United. If you guys haven't watched his channel, then you're 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 doing it wrong. You're doing life wrong. Right. <laughs> Say hi. Hey, I said it better myself. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Um, so we're doing a beer that Anthony sent us called child support. Is this, is this just child support? I see there's other words on it. Yeah. It's just straight up child support. Uh, then, uh, it, they all have their variant at the bottom. Nice. Yeah. So this is from the Vale in uh, Richmond, Virginia. Usually the Vale is known for like, they're like crazy fucking hazy New England IPAs. Um, but we're like, Hey, let's do something like we do, Like we have so many IPAs on this channel that we might as well do. Like, let's do a hobby pilsner. Let's do this. It, it, it still got hops in it. So that's what <laughs> and it's going to be. It has the word hobby in the name. And that's uh, Hallertau. In there, yeah, yeah. So this is Hallertau. But isn't there multiple hat? Like there's a Hallertau Blanc, right? Yeah, that's, there... that's what this is supposed to be, I guess. Yeah. There's a... Uh... Hallertau Blanc, there's New Zealand Hallertau, U.S. Hallertau, German Hallertau. Yeah. So is that what this one is? According to this website, this is Hallertau Blanc. Okay. I don't know if that's accurate. <laughs> we'll go with it. Cool. All right. Let's get it open. <laughs> yeah, that probably should have got the other can. It's fine. We're good. So Anthony, you've had this in other variants, right? Like not the Halatau variant? Yeah, I've had uh God, <laughs> I've had El Dorado and I've had a couple of other ones that I can't for some reason remember. But um, <laughs> I think it's usually a really good showcase of whatever the specific hop is, you know. Yeah, because the pills is probably clean and you can kind of get the hop that comes through instead of like a regular single hop IPA where you're kind of like fighting for things. Exactly. It, uh, I, I think it's much more of a blank slate. It really allows that hop character to really accentuate itself or uh, express itself. Yeah. Nice. That head is amazing. I agree. As I was pouring it, it was like, it's kind of like rocky and like. Yeah, it's got a uh, soap bubble look to it in my glass. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. Now, the thing is, like, mine, like, in front of me is like a glowing yellow, but on screen doesn't look the same. No, and yours looks, his looks, Anthony's looks yellow. But mine's like has a like some crazy chill haze or something because his looks clear and mine doesn't. Uh, well, interestingly, on my from my point of view, it looks like y'all's looks like mine, just as vibrant and like really. That, yeah, it's got that uh, nice yellow gold look to it. It looks clear to me. Interesting. Interesting, because for me, this looks like like a like a bright yellow. I just put the camera. I just put the cameras in and hit record. I don't know what they do. They do crazy things. <laughs> but this does have a beautiful fluffy head. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I would say it looks to style. You know, it, it yeah. doesn't look. It this looks hazy pilsnerish from my side, but yeah. Uh, so uh, I mean, it's probably some crazy chill haze or something. That's yeah. All. All right, uh, get your nose. Get your nose. Oh, oh, that's. I'm getting like coriander in there. Yeah, lemon lime, lemon and stuff. Yeah, super crisp. Yeah, wow. Yeah, that, that's that's yeah. a really fragrant uh, pilsner. Yeah, I I thought it was going to be straight up a uh, OG uh, Hallertau. I thought it was going to be that spice, that noble character. Yep. Yeah. Definitely not what you're getting here. <laughs> no. It, um, it, to me, it comes across very citrusy and uh, just a little bit of spice in the back. Yeah. Wow, yeah, that just... Yeah, I'm, I'm getting like some nice breadiness from the malt character. I'm getting like uh, almost like... Um, I, I'm getting like, like... It's extremely bright. Yeah, it is. It's very like inviting, very like... Herbaceous and beautiful and citrusy yeah. and... Reminds me of summer, I, even though we're in December. <laughs> yeah, it, to me, I, I think it shows a really good balance between the malts and the the hop. And I I don't know uh, how that citrus is hitting me, but or how the hops hitting me, but it almost to me tastes or smells like a little bit of a citrusy white wine. Yeah, know, a little bit, like, yeah. Hey, but I'm also getting almost like 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 cracked peppercorns in there for me. Are you getting yeah. that as well? Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. I it's not coming across to me uh, when you said coriander. I, I definitely picked up the coriander, but mm-hmm. I can see that how that spice is building. How you could t- totally get white pepper and um, I don't know, probably a lot of other stuff in it. Yeah, yeah. Well, th- this is really fragrant. This yeah. is really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I think they I think they still use the same uh, late hopping additions, but I'm not sure. That would make sense. It's the veil. <laughs> uh, case. Case. Yeah. Yep. Cheers. You go. Cheers. That's oh, yeah, that. that's beautiful. Yeah, that, that, that's the best way to put it. That's that's beautiful. Yeah. It definitely doesn't taste like your uh, standard everyday pilsner. No, no. This, I'm getting almost like that pink peppercorn thing going. I was just gonna say there. that because it reminds me of the of the of the, um, of the of the saison we had recently. The, yeah. the, the pink peppercorns. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting like some really nice stuff, I, and, and a really strong bready malt. Yeah, it's extremely complex for a for a pilsner. Yeah. What, what do you get out of this, sir? For me, it's actually uh, a little more bitter than I was expecting it to be. Yeah. I get a little bit of a. It's not really anything definitive, but it's, it's just kind of like a little bit of a sharpness in the back of it. But then just building off of that, I'm still getting that white wine, citrus, like a little bit of like a, uh, I don't know, white grape skin type flavor. That's uh, that's how it's hit me. But, but that spice is building still. It, to me, it's hugely coriander. Yeah, the spiciness is like, it's, it's almost like, it's almost like Saizani in a sense, like in like, yeah, no, I agree with you. A yeah. few more tweaks to the recipe, and I feel like you could probably could just make this a, a size on really easily. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, but I'm getting I'm getting like um I'm getting a lot of lemon. I'm getting like uh like yeah. some grapefruit rind. I'm getting lots oh, yeah. of I'm getting I'm getting a lot of peppercorn. I'm getting that that nice spiciness. Yep. And that citrus quality and that breadiness. This is I mean for a pilsner. This is really beautiful. This like, is delicious. Like I can't like I I, I could drink this every day. Yeah, this like is four a, and a half percent. Like you crush like a million of these. Yeah, this this, <laughs> this would be like like uh, a few years ago we 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 got that kung fu hobo up up north. The kung fu hobo. And that, oh, from Sony Nose. Yeah, 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 that shit was great. That was like crushing beer. This would be like yeah. This would replace that. Yep, exactly. <laughs> this would make yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. I I've I've never tried it without like. A bunch of hops in it but from what people have told me is before they do their hops it's just an insanely clean very neutral pilsner and so all this spice and all this citrus and all this flavor it's just insane thinking it's coming from you know hallertau yeah i know right like you never yeah. would expect yeah because the hallertau is, is i i feel like it's a hop that that noble hop that that thing that you, it's like oh well that's in your german beers it's that it's it's not exciting but this is extremely exciting i feel yeah this is well i don't have a whole lot of previous knowledge on the hallertal blanc yeah but i mean i'm kind of in love with it right now yeah this is delicious this is so I think we're like two for two with like single hop beers. Like we we were like, usually we don't really like that this hop doesn't really sit well like by itself. And like <laughs> and we're both we're all all three of us like this is amazing. Yeah, wow. So so they do make a base regular pilsner, right? That doesn't have I, I don't think they release a oh, base okay. pilsner, but just some people who I've talked Better to try who, are like, who are like in the inn, you know right, what I mean? Okay. Like, They've told me that uh, it's super clean, super neutral. And then when they do their dry hopping and their hops and everything, that's when the flavor just drastically changes off into whatever new path it's forging, you know? Nice. It's interesting because I feel like I'm getting like qualities out of this base beer that, I mean, it would be weird to me that this is coming just from the hop, you know? Yeah, I guess. I, I don't even know if I've ever seen a regular Halatau. Only place, yeah, we have the Lada 248 mixed pack. Oh, yeah, I think that's yeah, for sure. But that's also mixed with same Adam G. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just looking at the style guidelines, it's supposed to be super clean, super um, neutral, super, you know, the flavor isn't supposed to be big. And yeah, I feel like this one is huge. Oh yeah, I there's so much that. flavor on this. Like usually, if you get a pilsner, you want it, you you want a pilsner for like crisp, be something easy to drink, light, refreshing. 
yeah. which this is yeah, this yeah, still yeah. is it has all those qualities but it still has like and then it has like so many more layers on top of it i agree with you yeah i think it can definitely uh quench the cravings of a hop head you know yeah for sure yeah this is a smashing beer really yeah yeah i like how uh on the mouthfeel i like how the I, those citrusy notes we were talking about it almost comes across it like pings me a little bit tangy like i almost get like mm-hmm. a spritz of like acidity on it almost yeah and um it's almost like uh like a firework sparkler of just like beautiful <laughs> hot flavor i don't know how to describe it but that's actually like a really it. good way to a really good way to describe it yeah for sure and i, I think that i i'm agreeing with you i, I think that i am getting almost that lemony and a little bit of like grapefruit rind kind of a quality um uh, exactly. i don't know if you're getting those yeah i mean i'm not picking up grapefruit so much but lemon is just screaming at me from the very beginning you know it's lemon flavored i'm getting lemon rind and then that almost weird acidity type vibe i'm getting the tanginess it's all screaming a lemon to me and yeah. when you mix that in with that slightly grassy and spicy flavors it's just mm-hmm. mind-blowing yeah um do you want to try to get some scores yeah we are just gonna call me squishy i was gonna say something even You're worse gonna say squish. i was gonna say something worse <laughs> squish is, 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 is his nickname for his brother so it's really sound like that's what you want to say but no. anyways um yeah I, I would this is this is like one of the better obviously it's a hobby it's not like a pilsner pilsner but like i can't really say it's probably the better pilsners i've had because i guess well it is it really is but it's like a different it's hoppy so it's a little different yeah for sure. um we don't go to pilsners often so no i'm probably overstepping here but like i'd i'd go four or seven for the uh Five. for the style i i don't i i do not disagree but do you think do you think that's you don't think that's too high nope uh it, it, for the style this this is uh shockingly good yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna try my hand at style or at the uh the rating score I, uh, <laughs> so i this is one of the reasons i'm always confused about it but i want to say as a pilsner i don't think it hits what you're looking for out of a pilsner because of that huge hop flavor that makes sense the hops are so good you know and it's it's obviously an above average beer but um let's see out of five i'm gonna go solid i'm gonna i'm gonna gonna stick with 4.5 on it because i love it i just have to ding it a tad bit because it's not pilsner it's just beautiful pills. that's fair yeah but but i i the thing is i i really do feel like you get um you you do get a lot of the the, the pills the qualities out of this i just think you're just getting so much more you know what i mean <laughs> like yeah thank you like, yeah it's, it's like saying like like you're going to get a chocolate cake but this has a ganache on it and it has, <laughs> it has the, the cherries it has all these other things with it it's still a chocolate cake you know what i mean does, does that make yeah. sense the only problem, no, it makes total sense. That's actually a beautiful analogy. <laughs> uh, I think the only problem is when you start looking at style guidelines, I think that yeah. no, I agree with you. I they agree. get a little PP smackish when uh, you start edging a little too far in one direction. So, as much as I love this hops, if I was a BJCP, which I'm not, I, I, you would unfortunately have to ding it because it's too hoppy, you know? Yeah, I think you would. Maybe. I think you would. I think it's no. I'm disagreeing because of how much I like this fucking beer, Sean. <laughs> I think you need to shut your fucking hole. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love this beer. It's probably, I, I would say it's definitely uh, one of the better versions I've had. I was going to ask, yeah, it, compared to the other this variants. This kills the El Dorado. Like, yeah, like the El Dorado was that. garbage compared to this. I, I I would definitely say this is probably my second favorite child support I've ever had. Uh, oh, the first being first being Galaxy. Oh yeah, of course. Fuck you, of course. That's not even fair. <laughs> Galaxy is like, boy, it is my favorite hop. It is. Yeah, my, it's I'm a favorite. huge, I'm a huge Galaxy fanboy. Like any beer with Galaxy, I'm probably gonna ride it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Any final thoughts from either of you? I think we sucked this dick, this <laughs> dick pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, I think you're I right. mean, fantastic beer. I. uh I'm definitely gonna have to keep my eyes out on Hellertal Blanc more. I mean, yeah. yeah, that's definitely help I need to learn more about. Is this the is this how, is this gonna be like like the new hotness? Is gonna be like the next mosaic? <laughs> I don't know about that, but uh, I definitely think it's underrated. Yeah, for sure.
like and I, and, and I want I wonder if it's as expensive. It probably it's probably it's cheaper. Like if no one's not as many people are using it or buying it, like probably easier to come by for certain breweries. To buy. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not a fucking. <laughs> I'm, I'm just talking on my ass at this point. Um, <laughs> I actually uh, sorry. One last thing about this beer. Um, I feel like as it warms, I'm getting even more wine character out of it. Like more like white wine kind of a um, like a Sauvignon Blanc kind of a. I was just sitting here thinking that I uh, this hop would pair really well with uh, Sauvignon. I, uh, yeah. I'm planning a Sauvignon homebrew, and I even though I'm not huge on it, but um, I think this would pair really well with that. I'm yeah. thinking you're right. Yeah, because yeah. like this is like it's, it reminds me of a more subdued version of like um, not not dialed in. I'm not I'm not saying no, it's like no, dialed no. in, but it. Like a Nelson. Well, well, we know you get cappy from Nelson, but but yeah. like, I think, <laughs> but, but 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 when I think Nelson, I, I get this type of character, but this is a little more subdued. So I think it would like maybe like it, it would be a nice combination. Yeah, it would be a nice color to the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah, I, I'm I'm really impressed with this, honestly. Yeah, this is this is fantastic. All right, do I want to close one up? Yeah, cool. So um, Nerd Sense 475 and Beer Snubs United 4.5. So um, yeah, that means get this beer if you can. Yeah. It, it makes me wonder, because if you see Pilsners, I probably should have said this before. I, I can it. avoid them. I don't avoid them. Like, like I like getting them. Like, But for a brewery like The Vale, like, I mean, even breweries, like bigger breweries around here, like if they make something that's not an IPA, it sits, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Like, so in, you know, in a world of hazy hops and... Uh, quick turnaround sours and all that stuff. Yeah. I think a Pilsner is uh, kind of left on a shelf. Yeah. Like does this, so do you normally like, like when this hits distribute, like does, does this hit distribution or is it just brewery? Everything the veil does is brewery only. Yeah. And does this sit in the brewery for a while or is it usually a, like everyone just buys whatever? As fast um, as possible? I think it definitely has its fanboys. There's yeah. a lot of people who, come there specifically for child support, but they are few and far between. Mm -hmm. um, it's almost guaranteed to say that if there's a child support release and you only wanted child support, you'd be better off waiting till the next day to get it. Right. It'll still be there. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, so um, check out NerdSense, our, our channel, obviously, and then check out Beer Sound United, please, because his channel is amazing. We're going to link to him someplace. So it's going to be over here, over here. I'm going to put it over Mike's face. Makes sense. This is ugly mud. <laughs> um, do you have a do you have a, a, a website or you just do the YouTube and Instagram stuff? Just YouTube and I barely do Instagram, but uh, on the occasion you might see a post from me. <laughs> I'll link to the Instagram as well. Um, awesome. Cool. So um, yeah, so then nerdsense nerdsense.net from there, and you can find us on all the social media places, even Google Plus if that's your thing. If you're weird with Google Plus. I still post there. I don't know. It's, I don't know why. It's, always, it, it, it's a button. It's a button. Oh, fair, okay. It just goes automatically. If I could do it manually, I, I would never do it. I don't think yeah. anyone even Google Plus anymore. <laughs> That's right. You, got that, you got that great Google Plus uh, yeah. following. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, cool. Well, uh, I'm Sean. I'm Mike. I'm Anthony. <laughs> I didn't. We didn't think to close out. <laughs> and this is Nerds and Strengths <laughs> with... Beer Snobs United? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright everyone, that was awkward. That was for your amusement. Alright, let me get stopped. <laughs>